Welcome in New England Patriots today by Chance Sports. Tyler Schultz here with you. Happy to have you with us. Coming up on today's show, we're talking all about Jerry Judy as well as Mac Jones and some potential free agent wide receiver targets. We'll get to all of that and more coming up in a matter of moments. Before we do, folks, we are growing at a crazy pace over the last week here on Patriots Today. Last week, we gained nearly 500 subs on the channel. I want to do even more than that this week. If you want daily New England Patriots coverage, this channel is for you. We're doing longer videos. We're monetized now. Isn't that great? That means we can do more Patriots content than we ever have before. So what are you waiting for? Come on down, subscribe to the channel, be a part of our daily segments as we're talking about OTAs, mini camp, training camp, potential moves the Patriots could make. This is the channel for the diehard Patriots fan. We are close to 2,000 subs. Let's get there and do our part. You'll be glad you did. I can promise you that much. Best part about it doesn't cost you a thing. Absolutely free. Turn on notifications, select all, and we'll get started with today's show. So the Denver Broncos are picking up the fifth-year option on wide receiver Jerry Judy. And for months, we have been talking about potential trade rumors of him to the New England Patriots. Uh, You go all the way back to around the trade deadline of last year, and Jerry Judy's name was just all over the place of potentially being moved on from, from the Denver Broncos. And you look early at Jerry Judy's career, this was a guy that coming out of college at Alabama was the top receiver in the country in college football. And in the draft where he was taken, he was one of the first receivers on the board. There was a lot of high hopes and expectations, but his career kind of started slow. But then he had a strong finish to last year with Denver, and that kind of changed the tune for the Broncos on looking to move on from their young receiver. With the fifth-year option being picked up, here's more from SI Patriots Country on why a deal might not be happening anymore. Before citing Juju Smith-Schuster in free agency and selecting two receivers in last weekend's NFL draft, the New England Patriots reportedly had interest in the Denver Broncos' Jerry Judy. That option is now off the table as the Broncos on Monday picked up the fifth year of Judy's contract to keep him in Denver through 2024. He will earn $13 million before being scheduled to hit free agency in March of 2025. Now, considering how much that Judy's name has been on the table and talked about, I personally wouldn't shut the door fully just yet. Now, maybe it's still a possible trade. Maybe it's just keeping things open for when he does hit free agency, a potentially making a move to the New England Patriots when that opportunity comes. But at least I, I would say just based on how much he's been talked about, even with the fifth-year option being picked up, I wouldn't fully shut the door. And we've seen guys get moved from teams even when their fifth-year option did get picked up. These statistics from Jerry Judy uh, last season, 67 catches. He averaged uh, about 65 yards per game, had six touchdowns, and his PFF grade was 78.4, had career highs in receptions, touchdowns, and yardage in 2022. The money that he is set to be owed uh, is going to be just under $13 million for that fifth-year option that uh, Jerry Judy, the former number one pick, will receive. So with that, I want to ask you guys, will the Patriots trade – for Jerry Judy, will we see a move still happen? Even if the reports are that the door is shut, do you believe that or do you think there's still an opportunity for him to end up in New England after all? Let us know in the comment section. Type T for trade, type P for pass. Let us know what you think. T for trade or P for pass. All in on Mac Jones. Well, New England Patriots head coach Bill Belichick over the weekend reaffirmed his commitment to the Patriots quarterback. Now, You may recall all of the rumblings over the last several weeks about Belichick not being happy with Mac Jones and uh, hearing from uh, the Patriots offensive staff from uh, OC Bill O'Brien say they want a clean slate and the interest there was potentially in Will Levis and all that. All of us were kind of sitting here wondering, 
what does this all mean for Mac Jones? Remember, he, you had the Lamar Jackson rumblings too. Well, Belichick said this over the weekend. Mac's been our quarterback for two years. As I tell the team every year, each player, each coach, we all have to reestablish and prove ourselves every year. That's what this league is. 2023 is 2023. But then there was more from SI Patriots country. When asked if he still felt the same way about his quarterback heading into 2023, about if he was all in, invested into Mac Jones, Belichick replied, absolutely. So, there you have it. Seems like uh, we can put this to bed for now that Mac is going to be the quarterback for the New England Patriots uh, for the time being. Now, I have some thoughts. I'll share those on the other side. But I want to hear from you guys first. Do you still believe in Mac Jones? Do you still believe he is that guy for the New England Patriots? If you do, type Y for yes. If not, type in for no. Tell us in the comments section. And feel free to elaborate a little further. Let me know what you think of why you feel one way or the other. If you believe in Mac Jones or not, Y for yes and for no, let me know. The Patriots spent their first round pick on Christian Gonzalez. And I loved the move. Going with Christian Gonzalez, trading back, picking up, you know, some value, and still getting the player you wanted. Uh, arguably the best corner of this entire draft. And Patriots fans, you're in luck because we are selling these Christian Gonzalez jerseys from draft night. When he was on stage with Roger Goodell and he was holding up that number one jersey for being a number one pick, well, we have those jerseys, we're selling them. And whether it's the white jersey, the blue jersey, my personal favorite, the classic throwback red jersey, all of those are available on sale now while supplies last. And it's only going to be for a limited time because he's not going to be wearing the number one. This is specifically to, you know, look back and remember the draft. It's a unique thing, right? So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and get your Christian Gonzalez draft night jersey on sale now while supplies last. Chatsports.com slash Pat's jersey is where you can find it. Get yours today. That's chatsports.com slash Pat's jersey. Now, I'll say this. As far as Mac Jones goes, I'm a believer in Mac Jones. I think that he is good enough to get the job done, despite what some of the doubters and the haters may say about Mac Jones. And I think we're going to see a brand new version, the best version of Mac Jones we have ever seen in the National Football League working with Bill O'Brien as offensive coordinator. Look, the offensive coaching staff, no offense, last year was highly incompetent. They had no business calling the shots for that offense last year. And I think Bill O'Brien, say what you want about him as a GM or a head coach, but as an OC, as an offensive mind, he's one of the sharpest in the entire game. And he's worked with Mac Jones before, previously at Alabama as well. So he knows what it takes for Mac Jones to be successful. I think we're going to see Mac Jones have the best season of his career so far. You look at the rookie season. He was solid, right? Over 3,800 yards, 22 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, went to the Pro Bowl. Last year, you know, he, he had a regress, regression year uh, with a completion percentage uh, down to 65% throwing for less than 3,000 yards. Touchdown numbers were down as well at 14 and 11 interceptions. QBR was down to 35.8. But I'll say this. One thing that could go a long way in helping Mac uh, is still some receiver help. We mentioned the Jerry Judy door might be shut. And you've already had the draft happen, of course, and the Patriots didn't take a receiver high in this draft. Although they did take receiver help, that wasn't a high pick, right? There's still some cheap veterans that could be a possibility for New England as well uh, that I wouldn't completely rule out that are still sitting there on the free agent market that wouldn't cost you a whole lot but could help this team uh, for this upcoming season. Some names include Demarcus Robinson, Kenny Galladay, Julio Jones, Jarvis Landry, uh, St. Brown. Those are some of the guys that are just sitting out there just looking for a roster spot at this point in time and I think could do a lot for Mac Jones and be another target to really help elevate this offense. Every little bit helps, right? That's what I think as far as that goes uh, when it comes to Mac Jones. Let's see if they get him a little bit more help. Name a player the Patriots should sign, whether it's one of those receivers or if it's 
somebody else out there that comes to mind that you'd like to see in a Patriots uniform in 2023, tell me in the comment section and let me know who you'd like to see in New England this upcoming season. You may be wondering, well, Tyler, I love Patriots today. I want to see more of you. Well, you're in luck because I'm on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, also on Facebook, at Tyler Jones Live. You can find me there. And hit me up anytime. Got any Patriots or NFL questions, whatever is on your mind, I am here to help. Hit me up on social media, and I'll see you next time right here on Patriots Today. Mm -hmm.